Hey everybody, good morning. Today we're going to be looking at 3.4, if my calculations are correct. So this should be up in the Google Classroom. We've got the little assignment here, and we're going to run through the first little bit together so that we get on the same page, and then hopefully you can roll forward from there. All right, so our first little assignment here under section one simple computations we are going to write a custom snap reporter block called min m-i-n it's for minimum is what they're going for that determines which of two numbers is smaller and reports that value if the two numbers are equal report either one so either uh value would be reported. It doesn't matter which one because they're going to be the same. All right, let's jump into snap and see if we can do this. So I've got snap. We're going to run snap for a new little snap project. And as that comes up, again, I have my blocks a little bit bigger, so hopefully you can see what's going on. And we want to do another custom block. So again, that's going to be down here at the bottom. Now, I wanted that to be some kind of number thing, so we're going to do operators is where we put this. And I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom again and click make a block. So our block here is going to be min min was going to be the name of it we're going to call it a command block that's going to be great actually it's not going to be our command block this time we're going to change that to a reporter block so if you look in the very middle of the screen here we're going to click on that reporter so it's going to report one of those things so it's going to report whichever one is minimum and we're going to click ok because this is going to be for all sprites yay look we've got this nice little thing here that's going to show us what we've got now i want to be able to take two values and report whichever one is smaller so i'm going to click a little add here and i'm going to go with a as the first number that somebody can put in again number isn't an option here so i have to click that little arrow to the right click the number one and make sure everything else is good yep looks good we're going to click ok so you can put a number in for a and then our second number we can also put in what do you think i'm going to call that uh, if i called the first one a i'm going to call the second one b you guessed it oh my goodness y'all are so smart good job all right so we've got a and b here i've got it named i've clicked the number i'm going to click ok all right, so I have two variables in there, A and B. So if A is greater than B, I want to report A. If B is greater than A, I want to report B. And then it doesn't really matter in the minimum if neither of those things are true. I don't know why I said minimum there, in the middle. It doesn't really matter if either of those things are true. I wanted to report one or the other. So I'm going to need some ifs. Where am I going to find my ifs? I'm going to go over to control. So in under control, I've got an if here. Whoop. I'm going to bring it in and swoop it right there in the middle. So my operators, I'm going to find my greater than. And I'm probably going to use a less than a little bit later on as well. Oh, wait. I already crammed a less than. There we go. I'll use a little greater than a little bit later on. We're also going to use an equal to at some point. Okay, so first one. If A is greater than B, then I would like to report, we're going to put that in the if now, A. Boom. All done. So if A is greater than B, we report A. Wait, I did that backward. Ah. I just remembered in the assignment, it's not looking for greater than, this is me not paying attention, it's called minimum, so we're looking for the one that is smaller, smaller of the two. So, I want to report B in that case. If A is greater than B, I want to report B. Boom. Okay. So next, I would like to add another if in here. So I'm just going to duplicate the same thing up here. We're going to have to change that around a little bit. Whoop. Instead of my greater than, I want to put a less than in. So if A is less than B, 
I no longer want to report B. I want to report A. Boom. Okay. So I'm part way there. I'm going to get rid of these extras here. Let me drag those off the side. Yeah. Get rid of those. All right. So my last one here, it can be greater than, it can be less than, and it can also be equal to. So if A is equal to B, we will then report A. I can leave that because they're going to be the same number no matter what. Okay. So let's look through the script and make sure it makes sense. So I've got min. I'm going to take my value A and my value B. If A is greater than B, we're going to report B. If A is less than B, we're going to report A. And if A is equal to B, we're going to report A. doesn't really matter if you have A or B in this section because they're going to be the same number. Click Apply and click OK. All right, where's my custom block? Ah, i got to go down to the bottom. Whoop, all the way down here at the bottom. There it is. Oh, look how beautiful my little min block is. So, let's try this. I'm going to try putting a 2 in here and a 9 in here. So, if this is truly working, what should my block report? It should report the 2, which is the lower number. Whoop, and if I click on it... It reports it too. Now it says it over here. It doesn't say it over here because I haven't told my sprite what to say. I've just figured out what to report. So it's reporting two as being the lower number. Now what if I switch that around and go with nine over here and two over here? What should it report? It should report two because that's the thing. Yay, it's the lower one. I can finagle that and make sure everything's working. We can type in a big old number here, and 90 over here, and it should report 90 is the smaller number, and let's type in a larger number, and it's reporting the smaller number. Yay! Looks like it's working just fine. The only thing we haven't tested is what if those two numbers are the same. Let's try a 6 in here, and a 6 in here. Click it. 6 gets reported. Doesn't matter which one gets reported. Yay! That one looks wonderful. We can move on to part two. Let's go ahead and look at part two together as well. I'm not going to leave you in the lurch on that one. Let's see. Write a custom snap reporter block called max that determines which of two numbers is larger and reports the value of the two numbers that are equal. Report either one if, or if the two numbers are equal, report either one. There we go. So wait, this is just the same thing. I just flop it. So can I copy a custom block? Is that a thing I can do? Let's take a look. Go in here, scroll all the way down to the bottom to our little min custom block, and I'm gonna click duplicate this block. Oh, look at that. But we are gonna change it around just a little bit. Let's see, instead of calling that min, if I click on that, I'm gonna call it max. Yes, I like it. Click OK. This time it's a max. Now, I've got to change a few things around. So in this case, if A is greater than B, I want to report A. If A is less than B, I want to report B. And that last one I can leave the same because, again, they are equal. And I'm going to click Apply and click OK. Now, if you look, that custom block down here changed from min to max. Let's try this one. We've got a 9 here. We've got a 2 here. It should report the 9. Yay. And it looks like it's going to be a good little block that we just had to change around a little bit. There we go. Boom. We've got min and we've got max. That was pretty easy. That was light work on that one. Let's go back to our assignment here and take a look at section 3. Write a custom snap predicate block called between that determines if a number is between two other numbers. If the first number is equal to either of the other two numbers or is between them, the block should report true. Okay, so this time we're looking for something called a predicate block. Those predicate blocks, they take in the Boolean operators. So they're either reporting true or they're reporting false. So we need to make sure that it's reporting true or it's reporting false. So in this case, we want to see if it's between these other two numbers that we also put in. So if the first number is equal to either number um, or is between them, the block should report true. So 
So I want it to report true if it is equal to or between the two numbers. So let's go ahead and see if we can finagle that in Snap here. Let's try to make a new block. New block. And this time we've got our reporter command. We're going to pick the third option, which is predicate. Yay, we've got a predicate block here. We're going to go with between. I'm going to call it is between just for the sake of funness here. We're going to say is between. And now I get to put in my new numbers. So this plus I can actually add to the beginning. So my first number, I want it to be represented by A. And I want it to be a number again. So I've got to click this, drag it up, click on that number. Click OK. A, boom, is between. And I'm going to add my B as well. B. And we've got a numerical value again. We're going to click number, drag this up, and click OK. All right, now I want it to be between B and this time I'm just going to add some text, make it so it makes a little more sense. I'm going to put and. We're going to input that, and then add on to the very end our last variable, which if I've got A and B, I'm going to call it, you guessed it, I'm going to call it X. Aha, three off. Fun stuff. We're going to make that a number as well. This one's just going to be X. I know. If, if you have some kind of compulsion, you can change it on yours, but I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. And I click OK. All right, so I've got A, B, and X as these. So I want to report true and false at the end. So if I'm looking for a true and false, where do I look to find a true and false? Ah, under operators. I've got true and I've got false. I can report true or I can report whoop, false. So I need to figure out my ifs for this little block here. So first one, I want to know if it's between those two. Let's go with an if. And I find that under control. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. If. Boop. A. Let's see. we got to figure out this is between business. So. We're probably going to do with greater than and less than, right? So if whoop, A is less than X, whoop, we're going to go through from there. So this time we're going to be making some weird um, contingencies here because it also wants it to be if it is equal to either of the other two numbers or is between them, we're going to report true. So there's going to be some finagling. So I've got A is less than X and A is greater than B, we're going to report true. Now, I could drag a bunch of ifs in here and make this a little bit finagly, but instead, I think it's better if I just add more ifs rather than do an or around this and. So we're going to drag in another if. So I go back to my control, find an F, and we're going to do a very similar thing here. We're going to report true if A is equal to X or A is equal to B. We're going to report true. Duplicate. Boop. I know, making a lot of noise here. Let's see if we can make this a little bit larger, give us a little bit more space to play with. I realize this video is getting a little long, but I wanted to show you kind of the ropes here. Operators, 
we're going to use a couple equals to's and an or. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And I'm going to drag an A is equal to another A is equal to. First one's going to be B. Second one's going to be X. Whoop. So if a is equal to B or A is equal to X, report as true. Now, I do have one more little thing that I kind of forgot here. Because what if the number B is greater than the number X, but A is still between them? I want that to report true as well. So this time, we're going to just duplicate this section here whoop, and bring it down here. And in this case, we're going to switch the X and the B. This way, it's less than B, but greater than X. We still report true because it is there. And then everything else, we are going to report false. So let's see if I even need to add this here. Because I feel like reporting true is pretty much going to be offered there. And if none of those things is true, it's going to report false. I could very well be wrong, but let's give it a go. We'll see if we have to go back. We're going to click apply. We're going to click OK. Going down to the very bottom, we've got our whoop between block. So let's try a first one that makes sense. 3 is between 2 and 4. We know that's true. So we're going to go ahead and click it and see what it reports. It reports it's true. Yay, what if we flip our 4 and our 2? 3 is still definitely between 4 and 2, so it should report true. Yay. If one of these is equal to 3 and 2, yay, still reports true. And then 3 again, still reports true. Now, the question comes when it's something that is definitely not. So, I've got 3 and um, let's go with four and six. Six. So is three between four and six? It is definitely not. So hopefully it will report false. There is an error. It doesn't know what to do in this case. So we do have to tell it what to do if there's a problem like this. So let's go ahead and right click on it and click edit. We need to tell it when to report false. I could just drag this down to the bottom but I think that's just going to report false at the end anyway. Should we try it? Let's click Apply, click OK, and give it a go. Oh, it reports false. Looks like that does work, but let's see if it's going to report false anyway, if we actually have this correct. So 3 is between 2 and 6. Reports true. Yay, this looks like that's as far as we have to go on making that edit. I don't have to add anything else. Just if none of those are true, we report false. Yay, I like it. We're going to click Apply and click OK. All right, I think from there, that should get you going. Plus, I've wasted 18 minutes of your time. So you can move on from there, see if you can figure out the rest of them. Uh, we're going to go at least as long as, and then see if you can do these stepping up sections down here. They're a little bit more complicated, but I believe in you and I think you can do them. All right, that's my time. We will talk to you soon. I know that we are a little bit confused with what's going on. I know the governor made an announcement yesterday, but don't you worry. I'm still here. We're still plugging through and we're going to make things make a little bit of sense, even if it's a little weird. So I care about you. I want you to take care of yourselves and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.